San Manani. My name is Patricia Badenhorst, a postgraduate librarian for the Faculty of Management Sciences. Today I just want to give you a few tips on one of the AI tools you can use to read your articles easily. We are going to be looking at chat PDF. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can make reading your journal articles easier with chat PDF. We often collect a lot of articles for our research and we don't have too much time to go through all of them. Now, chat PDF is an AI tool that allows us to read journals easier. Okay, we can access chat PDF by going to chatpdf.com on our browser. Then we click where it says drop PDF here. Then we go to our computer and select the article that we want to read. And we scroll down and find that article. And once we've uh, selected the article, what chat PDF will do, it will start scanning and analyzing the article. And once it's finished analyzing the article, it will then present the article in a form of a chat. And it will also suggest a few questions, pre-questions that we can ask. If you click on any of those questions, what it would do, it will provide you with a summary of what it has picked up in the article, as well as page number where it's picked up this information. So you can click on that page number and it will show you where it's gotten that information from within the article. What is also interesting is that you are not just stuck with those questions that they provided for you. You can enter your own questions and then it will provide you with answers and also tell you where it got those answers and a brief summary of what the answer is. But you are able to then click on that page number and then do your own further readings. And if you want to then add a new article, you can then click where it says new chat and then Go to your browser again, uh, go to your desktop, select that particular article, and then you can do the same process um, of reading the article. So it makes things easier for you to interrogate the article and also it saves you a bit of time rather than going through the whole article only to find that the article doesn't have the information that you require. Okay, what you need to note is that it it only reads uh, two articles per day. If you wanted to read more articles for you, unfortunately, you then have to pay for a subscription and you, you also need to sign in. Uh, you'll create an account and then you'll be able to have access to your other chats that you've done previously. Thanks for watching. Uh, for more information, you can contact me via my email at patriciab at duty.ac.za or you can visit my office at uh, BM Patel Library on the ground floor. Uh, please note that we only service the masters and PhD students. However, for undergraduate students, they are subject librarians specifically dedicated for the management sciences.